Minnesota is Rust. Welcome back to Rusty Deals number 16. Here we have a 64 Ford Fairlane Sport Coupe. Looking at the description here, uh, solid body, very little rust, floors and trunks are solid, paint was stripped or the car must have sat out um, and got some surface rust, extra parts, grills, bumpers, uh, front suspension pieces, etc. Uh, looking at that body though, here's a quick picture of a quarter panel. Um, that, yeah, so that gives you a good idea of what underneath it probably is. But it is a 64 Fairlane, so here is that surface rust as you can see. Um, it looks like it was primered and then rusted over that, but I'm not a body guy. Uh, 64 is, you know, the, the boxy look, so if you're into that, this might be a good idea for you. 1850 was the current asking price for this project. Here it is back at the, the owner's home. Of course, the previous picture was at a storage facility. You see a lot of vehicles for sale at storages. People are tired of paying uh, whatever a month to, to do that. Um, I can see the bottom of the fender there, probably Bondo quarter panel. Quarter panel. We already saw that. Um, the top of the windshield looks a little sketchy here. Uh, is the roof coming off of the window? Is the trim coming loose? Is there some rust there? Can't quite tell. Um, glass looks solid. Glass is hard to find for some of these vehicles here. A little bit of the interior, you can see it's all stripped down, wipers off of the cowl, everything there, dash is empty. Um, I can see the floor in a couple places there. So apparently along the tunnel there was some rust that was um, cut out maybe. Uh, it is uh, a uh, column, uh, no it is a floor shift car so that's kind of neat with that. Um, looking at that description, somebody wanted to turn it into a drag car, so you can see where it was gutted all the way. Uh, doors are there. They're gutted too. Um, originally was a red, I believe. Typically, um, whatever color is inside the, the door will give you a good idea what color the whole vehicle was. Looking at the trunk, uh, you see some surface rust there. Um, I'd like to see maybe behind the wheels a little bit better picture. To see what else we're looking at but that gives you a good idea of the surface rust that the description was talking about it was painted and then the primer wasn't quite thick enough maybe or it just did sit too long with that another set of front chrome there headlight bezels uh, blinkers grill um, not not bad having extra parts you can go through and pick out which ones you like the best to include and then sell the rest at a swap meet or just save it for when you smack a deer that's what i would probably do um here is another idea or another picture of that um all together you've got um looks like a shifter there too maybe and some inside of windows parts i can't quite tell there i see a front bumper i see a rear bumper um, headlights, chrome, all that good stuff there. Uh, looking at um, another picture of the bumpers. I can see a front, I can see a back. And then um, your tail lights there. Hard to see some of the other pictures there, but extra parts, always not a bad thing. The description did men mention front suspension. So looking at here is a quote-unquote restored front suspension. Uh, I can see the the pads um, look uh, thick on uh, the, the, the drums there, on the rotors there. Uh, I can see the shocks look new. Um, and I can see some of the uh, bushing pieces in like those front, um, those triangular uh, pieces that go from the Unimati back to what are the A-arms mount. Can't remember what those are called, but they look like they got fresh pieces there. Um, the steering looks fresh. I can see uh, tie rods look new, so I would I would agree with that. Uh, looks like it's been um, taken care of and rebuilt there. Uh, some quote-unquote rebuilt is just the Craigslist rebuilt, where they shoot it with a um, semi-gloss black paint, which doesn't quite work uh, mechanically, but looks good in photos. And then, of course, you got your front springs right there. This would be leaf in the back. Um, more shots of the same and they look okay I mean uh, a disc swap in the front uh, wouldn't be that expensive and you get a lot better braking power but 
Um, if you're doing a drag car, I'm kind of surprised they wouldn't do that. But maybe that is why they did get the front suspension. And then here's a picture of all the stock front pieces there. There's your column. Um, and then there's your, you know, surface rust old pieces probably work just fine. But if you're looking at putting in something newer, um, why not paint it before you slap it in? So the interior was gutted down to the sheet metal. And so here is your your pieces there. Um, uh, I don't know why you take everything apart uh, to do that, especially if it wasn't rusty. Um, but you do what you got to do, right? You're working on a project. You want to get it to where you want it to be. So there you go. Um, I like to get something running myself before you dig in too much. And then there's the the interior minus the door pieces we saw before front dash you can see the air box you see the gauge cluster um sail plates radio is right there and then there's your picture of that quarter panel again lets you know there is some rust there there is some rust there so overall looking at at this thing you know is is this worth 1850 not a bad start um but you really want to get a, a clearer picture of the rust uh situation there i mean hey a car from the 60s you're going to get some rust here in minnesota that's just the way it is thank you much for watching this has been a rusty deals minnesota is rust <laughs>